we live in an electrical world. I mean, we get hit by about 50 to 100 strikes of lightning every second. We're talking about billions of strikes a year. How does such a huge amount of electrical charge build? Inside the cloud, we have to have vertical motion. And that vertical motion is bringing water particles and ice particles in contact with each other. And they're shedding electrons. It's much easier for the ice to shed the electrons than it is for water. And so ice will become positively charged, and the water will become negatively charged. And the ice then will be lighter and go to the top of the cloud and become a positive anvil. And the negative ions in the water and the grapple will kind of be at the base of the cloud, creating a very strong negative charge at the base of the cloud. The different charges can create different types of lightning. Oftentimes the positive bolts are about 10 times more powerful. They last about 10 times longer than the negative strikes. A negative stroke of lightning will have about 30,000 amps, whereas a positive stroke will have about 300,000 amps. You might not be experiencing clouds or even rain at the time when a lightning bolt could come down and make contact with you or the surface near you. The danger from lightning comes from both the electricity and the intense heat. The thing is that lightning is super hot. It's anywhere between 15 to 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit when the bolt comes down. Now, keep in mind that the surface of the sun is 10,000 degrees. And really, the interior of the sun is about 27 million degrees, so it's not hotter than the sun itself, but it's hotter than the surface of the sun. Both elements carry their own dangers. Now, when we as, as human beings get hit by lightning, we suffer from both of the impacts. We suffer from the heat, we get burn marks on our bodies, but there are neurological issues that can uh, develop from the electrical capacity coming through your body. And so you can do nerve damage, um, brain damage. On average, we have three deaths and dozens of injuries every year due to lightning. Can you be safe? We say that houses are a safe place to be, and they are, but there's some places that you want to avoid in a home. For example, you don't want to be in a shower during a lightning storm because uh, the lightning could hit the home, get to the pipes, water is also a good conductor, so you could end up getting electrocuted while you're in your shower. There truly is no safe place outdoors during a lightning storm. So if you can't get inside... A car is a very safe place to be because there's a metal cage around you. It creates what we call a Faraday cage. And so it might be very loud if you get hit by uh, a bolt of lightning in the car. You'll be safe from the heat and the voltage of that lightning bolt. We do live in an electrical world. With knowledge and awareness, we can all raise our odds of staying safe during storm season.